Hey, uh, this is part two. Um, a little bit different, but I'm kind of still touching on the same subjects. Balance. I've watched YouTube gurus. I've listened to people's advice, listened to AA. And this is something I don't hear a lot about. Balance. You gotta have a balance in your life. You know, long before I met my, my wife, um, sorry, it's it's still hard for me to even say that right now. Um, my dependency on the gym affected my sobriety. I remember doing really well and then I got like bronchitis and some other stuff and I couldn't work out so I chose to drink. You can't have your sobriety or again whatever your issue is dependent upon one thing. I know a lot of friends and, and, and family that use the gym or church. I mean, this is great. This is great. But I feel like you got to have a balance. If something happens with church and you can't make it and that's what's been helping you stay sober, stay clean, stay true, what are you going to do? Because I know what happened with me whenever I couldn't go to the gym and work out and get that aggression, that anxiety, those feelings out, you know, physically. I would go home and I'd, I'd have it bottled up and I, I just, I went off the deep end every time. I mean, it was surefire. If I got sick and I couldn't work out and I couldn't leave, I couldn't handle being with me. I don't know how many people hear this and know the feeling of what it's like to just be with you and be okay. Are you okay? Going to bed alone? Waking up alone? Going to work? You know, for me at first, especially when I lost the kids, I didn't have desire to go to work I didn't have desire to do anything I didn't even have desire to have sex with my wife I mean it came back but my I couldn't sleep I couldn't hardly eat but that's love I'm sorry. Everybody watching, anybody watching? Yes, you're seeing a 35 year old man cry. Uh, I, I talked to my kids' parents today, or, or mom, and uh, I'm very thankful that. People like her are looking after my children and not dealing with this. As much as I, if I had not, if I had not had everything taken away from me, yeah, I could give them a life. But they need a family. So. A lot of my crutches have kind of been removed, you know. My wife was kind of a crutch for me to vent to and talk to and 
even though it never really went well, at least I, I got a vent, but it always somehow backfired on me. I don't know. Um, and I had, you know, when I worked at another company, when I was gone 13, 14 hours a day, my kids were my life when I got home. I had to relearn how to live without that. I walked by the room when they were taken. Their beds were made, or they were left the same way they got taken. I always get up and pee in the middle of the night. Always. And every single time I walk by their bedrooms, I cry. I lose it. My wife may not know. I was the only one up, sobbing. I remember getting home from work after all this happened. And I was so used to getting in the shower, keeping the door cracked so I could hear what's going on with the family. And hearing cartoons in the background. Now, when I was, before I had kids, I kind of dreaded that, to be honest with you. Like, I got to share the TV with the kids. But then when you have them, oh, you love it. I loved every second of watching Baby Shark a thousand times. I didn't care. It made them happy. That's what matters. <laughs> you do matter. I think kids matter more. But in order for you to be that parent, that father, that mother, even if you've lost them, in the future, you have to focus on, hey, I want them back. And I may never get them back like the way I, I wanted. But they're going to always love dad. They're always going to love mom or whatever. And they're going to know that you made that effort to change. And you're not the same man or woman that you were when all this happened. I said it before, I know I've put some blame on others. I am an alcoholic. I am recovering. I do slip up. Uh, one of the main things my sponsor said, I think one of the first times I slipped up with him as a sponsor, after like six or seven months, was he asked me, he said, what are you going to do today? That is, that's a serious, that's a serious question. What are you going to do today? You messed up yesterday. What are you going to do today? Are you going to dwell on that? Or are you just, are you going to move forward, pick up your shit, and do better? Well, years ago, I know what my answer would have been. I wouldn't have been calling a sponsor. I would have been picking up my stuff and going and getting drunk and, you know, get up and go to work, whatever, and uh, just deal with the hangover. Even tonight, I, I, I wanted to, uh, I did want to go to the gym, but I felt so much here that I was just like, I don't care. Yeah, of course I care. I want people to hear me. I want people to... I don't want you to relate to me. Trust me. I don't want anybody to have to have to go through what I'm going through. Um, but I want... If you do, regardless of your issue, whether it's pornography or eating, I want... If I can say one thing that sticks with you, that means the world to me. Like, I say, do the next right thing. 
That was said to me years ago, and that has stuck with me, and that has saved me in a lot of situations. Because every time that happens, I stop and I go, okay, what's what's right? What's right? So I needed a moment to breathe there for a second. Um, find your balance. Find yourself a few things that help you. Church. I'm just using examples from me. I, whatever. If, you, if you're into fishing or hunting, whatever it is, find it. Do it. Don't rely on it, though. Don't rely on it to help you. Because if those things go away, then you got nothing to lean on. So you have to find it in here and in here to be strong when you don't have an alternative. When you only have time to spend with yourself. I was fortunate years ago after a long-term relationship. I took an opportunity and I took two years to be single. No sex, no, nothing like that. I just focused on me. And I was grateful for that. I wasn't dependent on anything. But yeah, after eight years with somebody and kids, you, you, you become dependent. I shouldn't have. That, that's one of the hardest parts, I think, for everybody, especially the older you get. Like, hey, I'm 35, and I got friends that go through a lot of the same issues. They're older than I am, you know, 37, 38, 39, maybe 40, whatever. You know, not that far from me, but they're going through the same issues, and they're struggling. You can keep going. Every day, pray, speak. I don't, you know what? If you're not praying to God, that's okay. Maybe just get down and talk out loud. Talk to yourself. Meditate. I know it sounds ridiculous, but things like this has helped save my life. I don't know. I might end up making a part three. Today's Monday, always tough. It sucks. If anybody's seen the office space, sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Yes, 100% a case of the Mondays and 100% a case of heartbreak and devastation and everything else. But I went and worked a 10 hour plus shift. I made money, paying my bills. I'm doing my thing. It hurts. You know, you you want to pick up your phone and message the person that did you wrong or whoever, whatever. Trying to get some sort of feeling better. It's not. You know what? I am going to make a third video. I hope y'all listen to it because something just really hit my mind that uh, I want to touch on. And I hope that a lot of people can not only hear what I'm saying, but really take it to heart and listen. Again, I'm, at, I'm only allowed to upload 15 minutes at a time. I don't feel like dealing with the YouTube channel BS right now. Um... Yes, I have had comments on the quality. I am working on that right now. Uh, buying a new car was more important than buying a new camera and microphone. So, uh, I'm glad that y'all can hear what I'm saying and see it. I'm sorry about the quality, but I will up it. And uh, I I'm doing this daily. So, if you um, don't want to hear it, I'm sorry. Just ignore me.
If you want to hear what I got to say, thank you. I hope I can help. I love y'all.